So welcome to today's video. We are taking a look at how to mix Glacier Brown. Glacier Brown is a two pigment mix and it is made of a brown and a dark turquoise greenish color. Like always we will be swatching the original version first and then take a look at the pigments, remix our own version and in the end take a closer look at the dried swatches. So the pigments which are used in this mixture is PBR6 and PG26. PG26 is a cobalt pigment which makes this dark greenish turquoisey colors. It is a very very strongly granulating pigment and is a pigment you will find from most brands worldwide. So I think I have a collection like from 10 different uh, brands or so. If you are interested in seeing how they all compare to each other I recommend looking in the playlist pigments and color families and it is e either in the cobalt turquoise or in the cobalt green uh, video where I have swatched all versions um, of the pigment I have. So this is one of the pigments. The other is the PBR6. PBR6, which I am swatching now, is a pigment um, from the iron oxide family. It is basically the synthetic version of PBR7 which is in watercolor at least much more often used than the synthetic version which is interesting because with the um, red or yellow iron oxide pigments we have like the same amount of synthetic or natural versions where we have with the brown iron oxide we mostly have the natural version and barely see the PBR6. So there are not a lot of brands offering a PBR6 single pigment color and the version from Schminke is basically a color separation color on its own because I think there is a higher amount of um, black iron oxide pigments in it because you have a little bit of color separation sometimes between brown and, and blackish parts. So this is one of the very rare cases where I personally say it is probably best to really use the version from Schminke just because uh, it looks very different to all PBR6 versions I have ever seen because of this um, little effect. Of course you could try to recreate it uh, to um, and adding a, a little bit of PBK11 or so but that would of course make this watch uh, uh, the mix a lot more difficult. So yeah the version from the PG26 I'm using is the one from Winsor Newton Professional. I think the color is called um, Cobalt Turquoise Dark and the PBR6 from Schminke, I think, is you, uh, called um, uh, brown iron oxide or so. Or iron oxide brown. I, I don't know um, how um, they put it um, in the English version. It is a color, the glacier brown, which uh, does separate in areas which are brown, like the PBR6, which are this dark turquoise green and we have areas where the twos are very well mixed together to have a very very dark greenish brown color which looks like a yeah a raw amber but in in a very dark version and on some areas Definitely is a color combination I probably would never have mixed together um, on my own. That's um, always a thing where I think it is very helpful to, to have companies doing 
mixtures like that just to really get more um, inspiration what colors you really can mix together to get beautiful results because sometimes there are combinations of pigments like this one which I never would have imagined by myself that that could look good <laughs> to mix together so yeah you can see the spots where are a little bit more greenish or brownish it is definitely because of the PG26 a very strong granulating mixture and yeah probably not the most special one but I think it is still a very interesting color with this um, green brown separating effect really really would like to hear per your personal opinion do you like the glacier brown and yeah I hope as always that the video was helpful and informative for you as always a thumbs up or a follow is very very much appreciated because it really helps me and the channel so much so thank you very very much for that and yeah i hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon in one of my other videos until then take care and bye bye